in the most ridiculous news of the day, the Miss Universe pageant happened the other night. And uh, far be it for me to say that I watched a single minute of it. I did not. The only minute of it that I watched is what was going around online. What was going around online was a video of Thai, quote, businesswoman and CEO of the JKN Global Group, Anne Jakrajutatib. Okay, now, there's one problem with, with Anne Jakrajutatib. Um, I, I don't know how to pronounce that name, so I'm going to screw it up. This person is not a woman. This person is a dude, a dude with a lot of surgeries, as you will be able to hear from this clip. So the owner of Miss Universe, bought Miss Universe, and now has said that uh, the world's most famous beauty pageant is entering a new era. And here is what uh, Jakra Zuzatip said. The Miss Universe organization from now on is going to be ran by women, owned by a trans woman, for all women. For all women really around the world to celebrate the power of feminism. The power of feminism. It will be owned by a woman. A trans woman. (laughs) We'll get to more on this in just one moment. First, if you are looking to upgrade your style this year without breaking the bank, you need to check out True Classic Tees. For a limited time, my audience gets 25% off those True Classic Tees with code Ben at True Classic. Dot com. So I've been wearing these True Classic tees. They fit like a glove. They are awesome. They are super comfortable. They fit like they're supposed to fit. Unlike the generic brands that kind of hang off of you like a tarp, True Classic tees fit a bit tighter in the chest and sleeves, but it leaves room in the torso for a relaxed t-shirt feel. So it, it hangs the way a t-shirt is supposed to hang. True Classic is more than just a t-shirt company. They offer briefs, hoodies, button downs, chinos. You can build your entire wardrobe with True Classic. It's really, really great stuff. It's also super durable, which matters a lot to me. Whether you're going to the gym or on a date, you'll always look and feel your best. True Classic has a 100% risk-free guarantee with a 30-day return policy. With 200,000 five-star reviews, it's no wonder these shirts are quickly becoming a menswear go-to. They've already become a menswear go-to for me. Get 25% off at trueclassic.com with code Ben. That's 25% off with code Ben at trueclassic.com. Free shipping is included with purchases over $100. I'm sorry, uh, has our society become ridiculous enough yet for you? And this is just Hunger Games type stuff. It's... Absurdity piled on top of absurdity. Jakra Jutatip continued the pageant would stand for, quote, diverse cultures, social inclusion, gender equality, creativity, a force for good, and of course, the beauty of humanity. The beauty of humanity. Quote, I turned pain into power and I turned life lessons into wisdom. So uh, the company which owned Miss Universe was bought out for about $20 million. I love that they call this person a mother of two. This is not a a mother. This is a, a dude. So. Really exciting stuff. I, I do love that, that a, a, an entire pageant that is built on stereotypes about beautiful women is going to now be run by a, tra- a man who says he is a woman who now says that he is fighting on behalf of feminism. So here's the real question. Okay, if we're going to take this feminism thing all the way to its, its logical extreme here, then probably the Miss Universe contest has to be open to fat women, correct? We have to be body positive here at the Miss Universe contest. And in fact, not only just fat women, fat men. After all, some men are women. And it would be absolutely sexist to only allow trans women to participate who have had an extraordinary amount of plastic surgery to make them appear more like women on the outside. So probably we need a bunch of fat, hairy dudes who say that they are women also in bathing suits parading around at the Miss Universe contest if we truly wish to achieve gender equality and not buy into the harmful gender stereotypes that cause people to think that men are men and women are women. That is definitely the, the best way to, to heal this problem. Now, again, a, a society that, that refuses to be able to laugh at these sorts of problems is a society that, um, that is essentially dead on its feet. And if we are supposed to take seriously this ridiculousness, then we are a society that is essentially finished. All righty, guys, the rest of the show is continuing right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be getting into the NHL, putting out a racially discriminatory job listing in Florida and getting slapped around for a plus. We will get to whether the Republican Congress is going to shut down the government over the debt ceiling again. If you're not a member, become a member. Use code Shapiro at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Click the link in the description and join us.